Hello everyone, now today's question is the integration 1 by 5 to 5, 1 by x, fractional part of x upon 4x square minus 2x plus 9 plus fractional part of negative times of x upon 9x square minus 2x plus 4 d of x is given by p ln q plus 3 tan inverse of r. Now where this bracket denotes fractional part and where p and q are relatively prime here and then r is an integer. So we have to find p, q and r here. So let's say if I divide this integral into two parts, I'm going to multiply 1 by x here and then 1 by x to the second term. So I'll get this as integration 1 by 5 to 5, 1 by x multiplied by fractional part of, I'll get x upon here 4x square minus 2x plus 9 d of x plus one more integral we'll get here 1 by 5 to 5, 1 by x times fractional part of x minus x times upon you will get this as 9x square minus 2x plus 4. Now I am going to take the first integral as I am going to call this as let's say i1 from my side and the second integral as i2. Now if you notice one thing in both of the integrals as you can see the limit is 1 by 5 to 5. So whenever see whenever you see this limit aapko jab bhi limit dekhe a2 1 by a or 5, 1 by 5 to 5 as you can see here jab bhi aapko limit dekhe aap ek bar ye try, substitution try kar sakte ho x is equal to 1 by y maybe you will get something so we'll try for this either we'll try for i1 or either i'm going to try for i2 probably i2 i'm going to try the substitution here now let's try the substitution for i2 so in this integral i'm going to try x is equal to 1 by y as i told you the reason because limit is 1 by 5 to 5 so d of x will be equal to minus 1 by y square dy. Now the value of i2, i2 will be integration. See if I take x is equal to 1 by y, limits will interchange. It will come as 5 to 1 by 5. But again I am going to reverse the limit and one negative will come. So you will get this as 1 by 5 to 5. I have reversed the limit, one negative I have introduced. One more negative from this differential will come that I am going to adjust plus you can see y square. So 1 by x, I'm going to write this as y and then fractional part of we'll get this as minus 1 upon y. In denominator, we'll get this as 9 divided by y square minus 2 by y plus 4. Fractional part close. And then you will get this as 1 by y square and dy. Here, 1 y will cancel out with this 1 y. In fractional part inside only, I'm going to take the LCM. So i2 will be equal to integration 1 by 5 to 5. Or ye negative I adjust kar diya tha, jise mein aapko bataya tha, negative and we'll get fractional part of we'll get this as a uh, negative times of 1 upon this y will cancel out with this y after taking the LCM of y square in denominator we'll get this as uh, 4 y square minus 2 y plus 9 one more y is remaining that will come here fractional part close dy now I think we can write this as or one more y one by y is, is missing here. Now I think we can write this as since y is a dummy variable I can write this as 1 by 5 to 5. I can write this as 1 by x fractional part of minus of x times 4x square minus 2x plus 9 here and d of x. Now I'm going to simplify i2 and i1 in the next slide. Now in order to calculate the value of i I'm going to add i1 and i2. And both, for both of them, limits is common, 1 by 5 to 5. And I'm going to take 1 by x outside. Now inside will be fractional part of x upon 4x square minus 2x plus 9. And the second fractional part is minus times x upon the same thing, that is 4x square minus 2x plus 9. Now here you need, all you need is observation. This is fractional part of alpha I can call. Let's say this number is alpha and fractional part of alpha is written. Now if you see this number as uh, this is alpha then this will be minus alpha. So here fractional part of alpha is fractional part of minus alpha. So let's generalize kar lete. Let's say a note here. Let's say you have fractional part of x plus fractional part of minus of x. Now this is very important and this is used in many questions for JE. If this two are given, then you have to take cases here. If x belongs to integer, if x integer hoga, then this value will be for sure zero. Aap kuch bhi integer leke dekh lo pe. Zero, you can take one, you can take anything. Integer, it will always gives you zero. Second part is, jab x integer nahi hoga, so you can take 0 0.5, 0 0.7, anything. It will always gives you one. You can try any value. Now, the next thing is, 
we need to calculate the range of alpha because if x if x belongs to as you can see 1 by 5 to 5 here then we need to find the range of alpha that is inside value range of this value i need to calculate x upon 4x square minus 2x plus 9 because if i know the range of this if this belongs to if it is an integer we can write 0 if it is not integer then we can write 1 let's calculate the range here i'm going to divide by x here so if you divide by x here you will get this as uh, 1 upon you will get this as 4x plus 9 by x minus 2 now here i'm going to calculate between these two numbers as you can see 4x plus 9 by x since x is a positive number, I'm going to apply AMGM. The moment you apply AMGM between these two numbers, aapko kya milega? A plus B divided by 2 is greater than root over or greater than equal to root over AB. So if you multiply these two numbers, you'll get 2 into 3 and then multiplied by divided by 2. That is 4GM. So if you multiply, you'll get 2 into 2. That is 4. 4 into 3. That is 12 here. So this number is greater than equal to 12. So I'm going to substitute the value here. So we'll get this as 1 upon this number is 12 to infinity and from 12 to infinity we are subtracting 2 let's subtract from 12 to infinity 2 you will get this as uh, 10 close to infinity here now when you divide by 1 when you divide by infinity you will get this as 0 open and then 10 close 1 by 10 here close now as you can see when x varies from 1 by 5 to 5 this value x upon 4x square minus 2x plus 9 varies from 0 to 1 by 10 and that means it is a, always a fraction in this range. Now, if it is a fraction, then the value of sum of two fractional part will be equal to 1. Now, I'm going to simplify this in the next slide. Now, we have simplified the fractional part of x because the sum of these two fractional part of x will be equal to 1 here. Because if this is fractional part of alpha and this is fractional part of minus of alpha, then the sum is giving you 1 because the reason is if alpha belongs to a fraction, it is not an integer between this range 1 by 5 to 5, it will be equal to 1. Now from here the value of i will be equal to integration 1 by 5 to 5 and only 1 by x will be remaining here. And the integration is ln of x. The lower limit is 1 by 5 and the upper limit is 5. We will get this as ln of 5 minus times ln of 1 by 5 here. You can write this as ln of 5 and then plus ln of 5 here. So that will be equal to 2 times ln of 5. And you can compare with the original answer they have given this as p ln q where p and q are relatively prime as you can see 2 and 3 are relatively prime plus we are not getting a term of tan inverse so we can write this as tan 3 times tan inverse of 0 because tan inverse of 0 is 0 now we can compare the value and from here we'll get the value of p and q and r so p is equal to 2 q is equal to as you can see 5 here and r will be equal to 0 this will be our solution set and that will be all.